How's everybody doing tonight? Hey. Show for nearly 20 years now. Um, got a special guest me here tonight in the Yankee car. Frank Bates, his, uh, famous car here. Uh, let me let him tell you a little bit about his car and then I'll transfer over and tell you the rest. Frank Bainey. This is the car that the mongoose made his name in. This is the one you said. Mongoose like Hot Wheels, mongoose and stuff. Right this car at one time held seven track records. Uh, and ran from 1964 to about 67. Then it got sold. We found it in Maui in 08 and restored it back to uh, its original condition here. My father, the guy getting dressed in his costume, his father, they owned it. So we're pretty stoked to get the car back and let everybody see it again. Woo! Yeah! yeah. 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 Tonight what we're going to actually do is fire both of them up at the same time. We'll put on a nice little show for you. So uh, these motors here are Chryslers or, or uh, Hemis or 392s. He only made them in two years, 1957 and 1958. Came out of a Chrysler Imperial. Uh, back in its time when they were on the stock car, they produced about 195 horsepower. Now they have about 2,500. Um, they run off of fuel. It's called nitromethane. Nitromethane only ignites under high heat and compression. It's $35 a gallon for nitromethane now. Uh, back then it was what? Five dollars a gallon? Now it's 35. Uh, if you see the length of the car, there's a reason why. Uh, back then there wasn't big shops or corporates or, or big units. It's what was able to fit in your garage. So basically the length of the cars is what was able to fit in your garage back in the early 60s, mid 60s. Uh, what you see on top is a, is a Enderly hat. It's got port nozzles on top where fuel goes in from the fuel cell up front through the pump up to the top. Um, and he dumps a lot of fuel into the blower. It's got a 671 blower. Both are, both are 671s. Um, the difference between this one and this one is this one's got uh, ports on top and on the bottom where it injects fuel directly into the head. Um, it's got a, mine's got a Chrysler eight and three quarter rear end. You sit right on top of the rear end. Um, there's no transmission in these cars, no gears. It's direct drive, so meaning when you have the clutch in and you let the clutch out, the car starts to go. Uh, these cars idle at 100 miles an hour. So basically, when you have your car parked in park, you go to reverse drive, you let go of the brake, you idle at maybe four miles an hour, these cars idle at 100 miles an hour. Um, they are powered by a uh, what's called a, uh, either a Vortex or a Cirillo uh, Magneto, which is like a distributor. But the difference is that these cars generate their own power. As you see, there's no alternator, no batteries on these cars. So that's where you get the spark from. That's where you get the heat from. And the compression's a uh, seven to one on yours, six to one. And then uh, basically with the blower, pressures down the fuel, and then that's where you get the horsepower. Um, what I'm gonna do on this car here, if you guys see I don't have a driver, I'm gonna auction off the seat. Um, so you get to sit in it. There's gonna be tons of pictures, videos flying around, so I mean, I'm gonna start the bid at $800. So I hear $100. Anybody at $100? $100. Do I hear $140? Anybody $140? To do what? To sit in the car while it's fired up. While it's fired up? While it's fired up. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. <laughs> You're up to 140? I'm at 140 right now. 140. 140. <laughs> 140. What do I got to go to? Well, hold on, because it's not done. This is an auction. Do I hear 160? 160. Do I hear 180? You ran. It's, it's worth the ride. 180. 180. I take Venmo. Do I hear 180? No, can't do it. Okay, do I hear 180? 180. Going once. Going twice. 200. 200. Nice. 200. Woo! Do I hear 240? 240. 240. 220. 220. 240. 240. <laughs> Twice. So. Woo! 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 
those things. So, so, yeah, you'll fit. You'll fit. Hit the grease! Hit the grease! Hit the grease! So the way we start these cars up is we start with gas. Basically, uh, what we do is uh, we say, uh, put some gas in there. The reason why we fire them up with gas first is this gas ignites a lot easier in the nitro method, especially when it's cold under these conditions. Uh, so then what we do is uh, we check for oil pressure. There's only one gauge on these cars, and that's an oil pressure gauge. If you bring no pressure, then don't turn on the car because you'll grenade this motor in a heartbeat. Uh, from there on on, we open up the fuel pump right up front, and then as soon as the motor starts to spin, the fuel pump ejects fuel into the motor. The fuel pump ejects fuel into the motor, and then you'll start to hear one sound, and then you'll hear a different pitch as the fuel of the of, of the nitromethane starts to kick in, and then they'll start to fire up.